whoa, I'm completely wrong. That's not going A, B. No, this is like a totally different, this is like a new, this is A, B, C. I'm one of these people that really doesn't shy away from rhythm games. In fact, I lead into them and Everhood is a game that I find really appealing and really interesting because it takes a story and adds uh, rhythmic battles to them. I don't think it's nearly as well known as it should be. We have like a 8-bit, 16-bit MIDI sound quality here. It's obviously very placid and peaceful. It sounds like we're underwater. It sounds like we're wading through water. Building that melody. And then there's always a middle section. I mean, this is following very classic pop. We have A, B, A. This is standard like musical, like song approach. We have A, we have a B section that's usually slower, a little bit more introspective, a little bit calmer. And then we go back into the, the A section, which is much more upbeat and, and moving. It's not so much about what I'm hearing in, in individual notes of the music here. It's, it's actually looking at the broader idea of how important melody is when, when composing. And melody is everything. Now, yes, obviously rhythm and melody go hand in hand and you need both, but melody, especially in these tunes, obviously Everwood, Everhood is a game that is, in, the music is in reference to the early 1990s, right? The melody in those pieces was imperative. Like you need a good melody in order to arrive at a, at a destination where you feel that you are moving forward. Melody is incredibly important for an emotional feeling. Like I can tell you right now that this piece makes me feel happy. This is a joyous piece about celebrating the difficulties in life and knowing that we can rise up and take care of ourselves and take care of the things that happen. That could be completely wrong in context, it doesn't matter. But what matters is that to me, what I feel is like a, a, a surge of enthusiasm and joy and a little bit of adrenaline because of that rhythm but that's the power that of melody melody creates emotion there's very little to actually say about this particular piece besides the fact that it's fast frenetic fun energetic you know a bunch of different adjectives what i would say is that it's a clear example about how this type of music even in the 1990s leaned on melody maybe more than we lean on it now there less ambient music more melodic music to paint an emotion rather than to paint a scene if that makes sense I'm completely wrong. That's not going A, B. No, this is like a totally different. This is like a new, this is A, B, C. Do you hear how that 
that drone over the top of the melody that we heard before. It almost feels like the melody has been dialed up even faster. And now there's a little bit more of a, like an emotional disconnect. Like before it was kind of joyous and bouncy. And now it's like edge of your seat precarious. That's interesting. And that's how rhythm changes uh, context. <laughs> I love how unsettling these effects are. These effects are doing such a great job of actually taking something that we know and saying, no, 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 you haven't heard anything yet and distorting the feeling. So now there's a, a horror element of this. There's a, there's like a snapping out of your subconscious and, and waking up to the reality of your life kind of vibe. It, it just, it just in distorting things like that, it creates a really powerful emotion. <laughs> I appreciate the liberties that this takes and this 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 deviates from anything that I've heard before and it really is its own little beast here. We're using this synthesized MIDI 8-bit 16-bit quality. I'm almost left a little speechless because the it, the quality here is is so very different from where we started and we've gone like on this crazy ride to get to this side of things with this piano that's actually deeply introspective on the, the meaning of conflict or why things occur the way they occur. Like there's, there's, there are thoughts and ideas that spring into your imagination where, you know, you feel like you've run a marathon and you've lost control of your life and you're trying to get it back. And, and it's really hard because no matter where you look like things are not where they used to be. <laughs> Okay. That went a bunch of different directions. I am perplexed by that. That was really interesting. It was a lesson in how melody infers emotions and how we are able to really connect to melody as a feeling. That piano melody really drove us forward there. And even though we were on the rails pretty much with the rhythm, the piano never really let up. I mean, this is the interesting thing about rhythm game music is that it's there to serve literally like the combat. Like it's not, it's not battle music. It's like the music that you are using to play. It's very different. 
It's, a, it's an active experience rather than an interactive experience. If we have a typical fight scene in, say, a Final Fantasy or something, we're like, okay, well, that's the fight music. But in this particular instance, there was something deeply attached to that, and that those sounds are the movements that we make in the game that we have to jump on or avoid. And I think rhythm games are sort of interesting because music is the game. And so that's actually a little bit deeper than your standard battle theme, which is fun. Yeah, feel free to like, subscribe. There's links in the about section if you want to support the channel. And as always, thanks for listening to video game music with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.